This is gonna be a really good video. This video is my attempt at the four horsemen route on Zwift. A route that came about by accident two weeks before I ran the 100K Thames Path Challenge. So 11 weeks ago now, I decided I wanted to try a 100K race on Zwift with an eye on building endurance and burning calories in a long, slowish race, slower than a 10K race, for example. I have a big event, a big running event coming up in two weeks today, exactly today. So I need to work on my endurance. I need to work on just pushing myself as hard as I can for as long as I can to build up my stamina, my endurance, my strength. So I've upgraded my pedals. So they're clip-on pedals on my Watt bike. And I've bought myself a new pair of Shimano cycling shoes. I forgot the brand then. So then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a 100K race. Shoes are on, hats on, new towel. That's guaranteed another few watts surely so i bought myself the new shimano clipping shoes and signed on to an upcoming 100k race but then i clipped onto the bike got myself onto the start line for the race and immediately i lost connection i have no idea how to start this i'm not going to go f i don't know why my watts aren't connected is my bike connected no i've been disconnected Great. All the other riders shot off without me and I was left staring at my useless avatar with no connection between my Watt bike and Zwift. I don't know what went wrong and this was the first and only time this has happened. It was really, really annoying. And then a couple of days after I failed to start the 100K Zwift race because of connection issues, I decided I wanted to try and complete the Four Horsemen course. I'd watch a video about it on YouTube and I fancied giving it a go. The Four Horsemen on Zwift. Today's challenge is I'm gonna complete the four horsemen. That's it, simple. I tried to enter a race the other day and I had technical glitches, which meant that I wasn't able to complete the 100K race. I had a big run yesterday. I went for a 25 mile run yesterday, so I'm hardly refreshed. However, I've got an ultra marathon next week and I need there to be long endurance runs, really, in training for this. However, it's, it's raining today and I don't really fancy a long 25 mile run in the rain. So instead, I'm gonna go for a long endurance ride and I may as well make it interesting by adding some absolute mental heels into it. Because this isn't a race, I'm not gonna to attempt to do any PBs. I just wanna get this finished. At this point, I'd already climbed out to Zwift twice and set myself a respectable, for me, 100 minute 90 day PR. I'm happy with that. The Four Horsemen course is a 90K route through Watopia that includes climbing the Hilly Com, the Volcano Com, the Epic Com, as well as the Brutal Radio Tower. And then the fourth mammoth climb is Alp de Zwift. I've got plenty of water, loads of it. I've learnt the hard way. I've got my electrolytes, salt tablets, food, saurine bars, energy gels. We are laughing. Okay, so that's the first climb done and dusted, easy one. It's a good warm up, good. Let's push on now to, I think it's Volcano now. In total, there is over 2000 meters of climbing to complete across 90K, so it's a brutal course, and up there as one of the hardest courses on Zwift. We've just started the Volcano Com. We're on our way up now. Uh, we'll get this done. Doing all right so far, 21 minutes in. Of course I'm doing all right, I'm only 21 minutes in. I had no real idea of how hard this route was, or more importantly, how long it would take me to complete it. And this will become apparent very soon. I've eaten my croissant, I was hungry. Now it turns out that I didn't eat anywhere near enough on this attempt. My advice to anyone trying a big endurance challenge, whether it be on Zwift or running an ultra, eat as much as you can before, during and after. Snacks and energy gels are simply not enough, they're just extra. I also found that my new supplements that I take and have been taking for several months now have made a huge difference, especially to my overall hydration levels and my recovery time after these big challenges. And recently, I've started taking Love Life amino acid supplements, which has helped me with my fatigue endurance. Three weeks ago, I ran a marathon through Battersea Park, video on my channel, and I did it injured and without training for it. If you want to watch it, then it's a good video. I'm convinced the amino acids helped my overall endurance during this run. I've got new clip-on shoes, and uh, I think I need to break them in. 
because uh, my little toe's going numb. Okay, Volcano Com. We've started it officially now. I'm not going to chase any pacers. They can do one. I'm just going to get up. Famous last words. I'm trying to get my RPM in the 90s and keep it there. I'm really not used to cycling with high RPM. As I say, I'm more of a grinder. I just smash and grab. Just pull my weight up the mountain. Relentless forward progress. So my training difficulty for this is set to 40% and I have a focus on my RPM. I do try to aim for plus 80 RPM, but I enjoy the grind. And when the going gets tough, I slip back into autopilot and I grind it out. I also forget to concentrate on my RPM and gear changes when I'm talking to camera. Here we go. Top of the volcano. There we go. How long will that take me? I need 17 minutes to get up the volcano. Down the other side. And then on to the next one. Crazily, I then decided to sprint the entire way down the other side of the volcano con for absolutely no reason. I've just accidentally caught a uh, pacing group. So I might just enjoy some draft for a few minutes. All right, we started at Epic Com. Here we go. One hour, five seconds. Let's do this. Oh, my ass is absolutely killing me. I don't know why it's hurting so much. Oh my God. I am tired and my backside was killing me and the thought of another 65K in this pain was really starting to kick in and affect my morale. This is harder than I thought. So we're nearly 20 minutes into this climb up the Epic Com. I've never done this before, putting some power down and I really haven't struck that balance yet, but we're moving forward. Relentless forward progress. I've been doing a lot of standing up at the saddle as well, just to get some blood flowing back into my legs and into my backside, if I'm honest. It's getting late in the day now. It's gone eight o'clock at night. I had completely underestimated how long this route would take me. The fact that it was 8 p.m. at night and I still had the rest of this climb to go, plus then the Alp, plus then another 30K after that, the possibility of failure was starting to worry me. That's it, done. 60 minutes. Oh, I've got the arrow. I got the arrow so I can go for the 100k. I can go for the 100k speed challenge. I had been attempting the 100k speed challenge in Swift where you win a badge if you can reach 100 kilometers per hour in game. I attempted it on both of my Alp attempts recently and yeah, that didn't work out. And I heard that the radio tower was really good for this. I'm over the moon with that. Let's get up the uh, telegraph tower, telephone tower, whatever the hell it's called. This is also the first time I've climbed the radio tower and didn't realise how ridiculously tough it is. I am broken. Oh, keep going, Ryan. Come on. Keep going. We're going to start going down now. And we're going to blitz this 100k. Let's do this. Oh, I'd be so good. I'd be so happy if I did this. Ah, arrow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes! 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 Oh my God. We did it, guys. A hundred kilometers an hour. Woo! Oh, that's a little bonus thing to go in the video. Whoa, indeed, 100 kilometers per hour. I was thrilled with that and it gave me a small motivation boost that I desperately needed. We're gonna get onto the flats now. I'm gonna keep going. We have got another 40 odd K until uh, the Alp, which is the last climb. Let's do this. We've got 43 K left. The Alp's only about 12 K from memory. So, Obviously, he expects me to cycle down the other side. It's not so much my legs now, it's my backside. If you want to see my attempt at climbing the Alp for a PB, then go and watch my Alp to Zwift part du video. Look how fast I went off. Whoa! Go for it, Ryan. No way I'm doing that now. I'm going to try and keep my cadence up as best I can. 
and just get to the top. It's taken a lot to get to this point, and if I quit now, it's gonna be a long time before I try it again. My legs are absolutely done. My backside is killing me. And you might be wondering, how on earth are you gonna to get to the top of the Alp? I'm wondering the same thing. I'm now in a lot of discomfort as I say this. This is me attempting to motivate myself. When I talk to camera, a lot of what I say is as much for the benefit of myself as it is for the people I make these videos for, so you. And I remember how much I wanted to stop at this point and give up. I've just stopped in between corner 12 and 13. I've been going now for three hours, nearly three hours and 40 minutes, I'm done. My legs are shaking, my hands are shaking. I can't feel my toes, I feel rough. It's now half 10 and I can't even get my feet out of the clips. I'm annoyed because I could have, uh, I'm not even halfway. I've got an ultra in a week, I've got to run 100K non-stop. I don't want to jeopardize it now by passing out on the bike and I'll try it again. I'll come back to this in another video. Oh, I'm annoyed. Frustratingly, I had to call it. I was exhausted from the 25 mile run the day before. Not all was wasted as this was great training for the 100K race I had planned for a week after doing this, but I was annoyed about leaving a challenge half finished. I ran my 100k ultra a week later. The video for this is on my channel as well. And on the back of this, I lost a further 4kg and I was able to drop from 111kg down to 107. This weight loss made it so I was actually able to compete in Zwift races and place on the podium for the first time. The video for this is also on my channel. I'll put all the videos I'll mention in this vid in the description so you can go and enjoy these in your own time. I started the Four Horsemen course as a training ride for my big 100k run and then after completing the running event I still hadn't finished the Four Horsemen and I couldn't leave a challenge unfinished. So I returned to it again for the second time. So good morning, it's just gone 10.20. It's actually the second time I'm attempting this. The first time I attempted it I had to call it, I'll come on to that in a sec, but today I'm going to be attempting the Four Horsemen course on Zwift. I attempted this several weeks ago now. When I did it, I underestimated how long it would take me and I was finishing at silly o'clock at night. Um, I had to get up early the next day for work. My ass was absolutely rocking and rolling. I wasn't able to finish the challenge. So today, I've got just over four hours before I need to leave for work and I'm going to attempt it again. So this time I'm going to try and get to the end of the course. I'm, at the very least, I want to get to the top of Alpe Zwift. One of the reasons I want to do this, other than it just being a really good challenge and just getting it ticked off and making a good video, is it's great for endurance. Which brings me on to my next point, and this is something I'm quite excited about. I weighed myself two days ago, I weighed myself uh, on the weighing scales in the gym, and I now weigh... I now weigh 102 kilograms. I don't know if you can see that. So that means I can, I can adjust it. Then because of my more focused run, Zwift and lift routine, video again on my channel, I again dropped a further 4kg to go from 107 down to 103kg. And for anyone that's been watching my videos, I'm getting a lot closer to my 100kg target I set myself back in the summer of this year. So I was able to enter this new weight loss into Zwift just before my new attempt. So I now weigh 102.3. I forgot my towel. I need to go and get my towel. So I have my towel. Right, let's get on the bike and let's start pedaling. Let's do this. So the last time I attempted this was several weeks ago, a long time ago now. And I was heavier, but also I underestimated how long it would take me. I had work the next morning, so I had to call it. I was also absolutely shattered. Completely, completely done. My backside was killing me. Anyway, I was burnt, I was done. Plenty of water. I've made myself lunch in the form of a sandwich. All right, I'm hot now, this comes off. We've just hit the volcano and we're just starting the climb now. So we've just come up to 20 minutes of cycling. I'm not blitzing up it. I've got four of these to do. Well, I've done one, but I made the mistake when I did this the first time round. I just went for it too early and I just run out of gas and time, most importantly. Again, famous last words. I don't know why I kid myself. If I can always push, 
I do. I did it in my marathon attempt several weeks ago, and I'm literally doing it with my ghost on screen now as I say this to you. I talk about self-control when it comes to pacing, but I very rarely listen to my own advice. I'm just getting out the seat for a minute, just to give the old Botticelli a break. You see a ghost in Zwift, and you think, right, I've got to beat it. And I have to stop myself doing that. 140 meters left. I've blitzed it up here. I've smashed my last PB. And I'm gonna pay for this. Because I'm not even halfway. Okay, we're here. Fourteen forty one. Set a new PB. Let's crack on to the next climb. This is the Epic Com next. Right, we've just started the Epic Com. And my PR or PB is 60 minutes and 52 seconds on the last time I did this. Several, several weeks ago now. I'm not bothered about the time, I keep saying that, but I've just raced my ghost off the start line. So, yeah. We've got an hour climb now. And then once we've done this in the radio tower, which are part of the same climb really, uh, we've got Alp, Alp to Zwift. So I'm eating some kind of granola bar just to replenish some of the calories. I'm listening to um, some ghost podcasts. It's Halloween today, the 31st of October. So I thought I'd listen to some paranormal, scary stories. I am 23 minutes into the epic com. I am well ahead of my last attempt. I've just pushed that little bit just to give my backside a rest. But yeah, we're doing well. Just over 200 meters from the finish line at the top of the epic com. I've smashed it up here. I've beaten my PR by over five minutes. This is only the second time I've done it, so I can see the finish line. Oh. Then we've got the radio tower. There we go. Happy, happy, happy. 53.50. That's six minutes, over nearly seven minutes quicker than the first time I did that. Right, 13%, here we go. We're just starting the climb up to the radio tower. We'll get to the top of this spin back around or we'll shoot back down this is mental we were just up to 17 percent i'm on the lowest gear possible and my legs are on fire this radio tower is mental we just need to get to the top now i need to give my legs a break jesus i've still got the out to come yet oh we're at the top oh it's flattening out now i've already done the 100k, 100k per hour challenge. So uh, I'm not gonna do that again. Let's get that 60, super tuck. And we're super tucking. And time for a sandwich. So time now is quarter to one. I didn't say this to camera, but it was at this point I realized that I didn't have enough time to complete the Alp, finish the four horsemen route, get off the bike, shower, dressed, and then get to work literally just enough time to do my PR up the Alpes Zwift. Now, if I do it in my PR, I'll be finishing later than I hoped and I'll have to rush into the shower, into the car, pick up Tracy and go to work. Because obviously doing a PR up the Alp on the back of two and a half hours of cycling. Look, the reality here is that I'm trying to rationalise the fact that I now have to beat my 100 minute PR up the Alp back down again, shave another 10 minutes off, do the 15 odd K to the finish line and finish in an hour and a half to leave for work. That's just not achievable and I know it. Okay, right, we've just started out. I've got an hour and a half to do another 40 K. I'm not gonna do it. Bloody hell. This is my second attempt at finishing the four horsemen and as I go into this, my legs are tired, but they're not 
broken. But the problem is, I now need to beat my PR going up the Alp on tired legs. There's no way I'm gonna do this in 100 minutes. I mean, that's an hour and 40. I don't have an hour and 40. Oh, an hour and 40. I'm having a full on internal battle. I'm trying to think of anything to avoid having to quit for the second time on this route. And I've done it again, haven't I? I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it. Cause I, I, I can't, I can't get it done. And all I'm gonna do is break myself for work, which I don't mind doing if I'm achieving this, but I'm calling it. I'll have to try again. Oh, I've got the times wrong. Annoyed isn't the word. I was completely deflated and all I could think about for the next week or so was the four horsemen. My partner Tracy and the girls have had enough of me talking about this route. I've had enough of me talking about this route. It's time to revisit it one last time for the third time. Is it third time lucky? Right, good morning. I have my full coffee ready to go. Third time lucky. This is my third attempt at completing the Four Horsemen. I've become a bit of an expert on the Four Horsemen route. Well, I've become an expert on the first 85% of it anyway. I've got some snacks, got some salty nuts to help with my salt depletion. I've got something for a bit of energy, a bit of sugar, painkillers, and I've got my drinks. I've, got, I've actually got some electrolytes. Um, I've got more water, I've got more water on the bike, loads of water. Now, there's a few things that I'm gonna do today, hopefully, to get this completed. I need to get it done today. I've had enough of the Four Horsemen, I just wanna get it completed. The first attempt, I had to call it halfway up out of the Zwift. I've been going now for three hours, nearly three hours and 40 minutes, I'm done. My legs are shaking, my hands are shaking, I can't feel my toes. Second attempt was really good, actually. I felt really good, I got to the Alp quicker than the first attempt. I was doing really well. I wasn't that tired when I got to the Alp. I mean, I was feeling it because I'd just done a long ride. I'd been on the bike for over two hours. However, I ran out of time. I had to leave and go to work. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it. Cause I, I, I can't, I can't get it done. And all I'm gonna do is break myself for work. So again, I underestimated the amount of time it will take me. So today, I've taken the whole day off work to get this done. Um, I have nowhere to be other than at the top of the Alp and then back down the other side and I've got everything I need in front of me. We're in a really, really good place to get this done today. Okay, we're in. I've got my towel, matches my hat. I'm actually feeling quite nervous about this. Let's get going. Let's get going because I'm wasting time talking about it. The thing is with me, when I do challenges like this, I kind of don't know what I'm doing and I don't have any experience of it. So like my first, when I first time I did an ultra marathon, the first time I ran a marathon, my first even park run even. I had no idea what it is that I was doing, so I kind of had that um, ignorant bliss where I didn't know what to expect, so what's the worst that can happen? Third time doing this, I know how bloody hard it is. I just want to get it done. I want to get it done for two reasons. First, I hate having anything that's beating me, so I have to keep going until I beat it. There's nothing other than lack of planning because of time management and exhaustion, really, on the first attempt. They're not excuses that I can accept. So I need to get it done for that reason. But also, I want to make the video. I've been trying to make this video now for weeks and weeks and weeks. I'm not going to try and beat my ghosts. I'm just going to get this done. This is about endurance and getting it completed. This isn't about times. Hoodie's going to come off now. Ah, Drop my hat. Okay, hoodie's off. Let's do this. That's the first climb done. Um, I didn't beat my PB. Okay, climb number one done. Let's get onto the volcano. Here we go. The start of Volcano Com. I absolutely smashed this on my second attempt. Uh, 14 minutes I got up it. 14 minutes, 41 seconds. All right, let's get to the top. Get it done. This will be Com number two. Let's do this. We're eight minutes, 20 seconds in to the volcano com, and I've absolutely smashed it. I've made a mistake at a maker here. Um, I'm smashing my previous PB. Here we go. Forty-eight oh six. 
Let's get, let's get a super tuck. So I super tucked my way to the bottom of the volcano and pushed the next 11K quite hard to start the epic com climb. There we go. Super tuck. 24K in. We've just hit the epic com. Um, my ghost has appeared, which I am trying really hard to ignore. We're now just about to tick over an hour of cycling. So last week was my last attempt and I did it in 53 minutes. <sighs> We're just coming up to the uh, archway, halfway up the Epic Com. Things were right so far, feel good. I've had something to eat. Well, I've had some salty nuts. The good news is I am 22 seconds ahead of my ghost and I need to find a way to switch the PR ghosts off on these attempts because I cannot not race my ghost and I'm pretty sure that these efforts I've now put in on this epic com and on the volcano com has meant that Alp to Zwift is gonna be hard. Anyway, halfway up the epic com, let's do this. That's lovely, I'll take it. It's gonna be too hot to drink. All right, thank you. Oh. Thank you very much. You can never complain about an activity or exercise that allows you to drink coffee like a civilized human being while simultaneously giving you the workout of your life. I love my Watt bike and Zwift for this reason. We're just coming up to the top of the Epic Com. Less than 200 meters. 100, 100 meters. Feel the burn. Forty-nine thirty. I'll take that. Jesus. I just burnt energy there. I don't have. There we go. This is mental, the radio tower. Mental. 17%. It's just absolutely mental. Whew, look at that view. View of Watopia. There's the volcano. And I think that's the Alp in the distance, but I could be making it up. Try to get the 100k, but I've already done it once. I just want to get to the top. I'm happy just to complete this course. I've hit this at a good time. So yeah, it's 10 to one in the afternoon. I've got all the time in the world. I then arrived at the Alp exactly two minutes quicker than my previous attempt and 12 minutes quicker than attempt one. I still felt okay. And I knew that consistency was key for completion, not raw power. So my PR, is 100, just over 100 minutes. I'm not aiming to beat that today. I just wanna get up this consistently. Pushing hard now would definitely mean failure. I know how tough Alpha Zwift is, and achieving or coming close to my PR, I knew from my previous two attempts that this was unrealistic, and attempting it at the start would be self-sabotage. For once, I actually took my own advice. It only took two failed attempts to realize this. <laughs> so I know that this out is, I don't know, something like 12K. So I've still got 20 to 30K left when I've finished. Having to complete four monster climbs and then ride back to the finish line for another 30 odd K was hard to contemplate. But for now, I pushed this to the back of my mind. I thought about some of it being the enjoyable ride back down the Alp and I kept pushing. Uh, we've just ticked over the 50K mark. 
and we're just approaching corner 15. I feel all right, my ghost avatar has trundled off and it's well ahead of me. I'm massively behind my PR. Coming up to corner six. Okay, corner number two. Come on, one more corner. And then that goddamn finish line. We're just approaching corner one. That's the last corner. We just need to get to the finish line. This four horseman has kicked my ass. But he's done a lot more to my ass, to be fair. Sit rep. I've been cycling now for over five hours, mental. Um, I'm about to tick over 59 kilometers, mental. And we've got 450 meters left of the last big com out to Zwift, mental. Oh, looks like I'm part of a pack. Here we go. And 157 minutes, 43 seconds. And that's the Elk completed. Not in record time, I did it in 157 minutes. 57 minutes longer than my 90 day PR. So not a time that's acceptable to me, but I completed it and that's all that matters right now. As I sit on that bike, wanting this ordeal to end. I am broken. The good news is that all of the big comms are now complete and we have a fun 14K ride down to the bottom of the Alp. The bad news is that we still have 16K left and this last 16K is a slow, arduous, long slog, gradually uphill and not what I want now. I'm feeling completely burnt out. Oh, I've, un I've unlocked a lightweight something. I also managed to unlock the lightweight Millenstein wheels on the roulette wheel. I'm assuming these are good for climbing, so happy. I've got less than 30K, 28.6, 28.5K left to go. About to go through the banner. So we've got 16K now left to go. We've just dropped under 10K left. Nearly six hours of cycling, just constantly climbing. Nearly 90K covered. But most importantly, four, four massive mountains. To add to all the good news, I also managed to achieve the Everest challenge during this attempt and I unlocked the Imonda climbing bike. I know that I still need to get to like 50,000 meters to unlock the Tron bike, but a free bike is a free bike. 100 meters. Ay, 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 ay. Route complete. Oh my God, I am so pleased. Done. Six hours, 23 minutes. Oh, I'm broken, I'm done. I'm gonna get in a shower. I'm gonna eat my body weight in pasta. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. And on that bombshell, back to me in the studio. I am pleased to have completed it, very pleased. However, I will say that my time of six hours and 23 minutes is far from impressive. The matches I burnt on the first three climbs affected my Alp attempt and I completely slowed down on the climb. However, this was a great zone one workout and I got in a good endurance ride. I burnt nearly 3000 calories on this ride and moving forward, I might alternate my weekly long runs with a long Zwift ride instead. I enjoyed it a lot and I recommend it to anyone looking for a good endurance challenge, especially if you want to burn some calories. I know that when I eventually take on the out for the third time, fresh and without the other big climbs included, I will absolutely smash my 100 minute PR. To be fair, I think I'd smash it if I attempted it now, but I have other exciting challenges planned for my future videos. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because apparently that really helps my channel. I appreciate all the support I've received recently and I read and try and respond to every comment. I can't believe I'm now locking on the door of 2,000 subs. So thank you very much. See you in the next one.